now putting strict limits on the use of Johnson & Johnson's one-dose COVID vaccine because of a serious side effect. It's due to a rare but potentially life-threatening risk of blood clots. CBS News' John Diaz is live in Times Square this morning. John. Chris and Mary, good morning to both of you. And back in December, the CDC recommended prioritizing both the Moderna and the Pfizer shots, the Pfizer's vaccine, over the Johnson & Johnson shots due to safety issues. Now, those safety problems, you know, while uncommon, extremely rare, they are still persisting today, and now they have put restrictions on it. It was initially considered an important tool in fighting the pandemic, but now the FDA is pulling back the reins on Johnson Johnson's single-dose vaccine. The administration said it should only be given to adults who cannot receive a different vaccine or specifically request it. The reason, a rare but potentially life-threatening risk of blood clots. So if you got the Johnson Johnson shot, should you have to worry? There's a very small amount of people who have blood disorders who should be concerned with this vaccine, but not the general population because they don't have any issues with uh, immunity or blood clot disorders or platelet disorders. This comes as the number of positive daily cases in New York State is now over 10,000, the highest number since January. And in New York City, this seven day average is at 7.48%, which is prompting the mayor to push vaccines again. Vaccines and boosters work. We can't close down the city again. We make the right decisions. We're not going to have to worry about doing that. Earlier this week, New York City's health commissioner said a growing wave of Omicron subvariants and people getting back to their lives has pushed New York City to a medium alert level. On hospitalizations, we see a slight increase. On bed occupancy, we're relatively stable. Both of those would have to jump up to a higher, a significantly higher level for us to move into a higher risk category. The higher risk would mean reinstating the vaccine mandate at indoor venues. Overall, in the Northeast, cases are up nearly 160 percent and are rising now in 44 states. Hospitalizations are also up in 33 states. The growing COVID rates is one of the reasons the CDC director is not yet willing to say we've gone from a pandemic to an endemic. I'm not quite ready to call it endemic. I do think that this is going to be a virus that we're going to have to learn to live with. Now, when it comes to the Johnson & Johnson, it shot a spokesperson for the company says that data proves that their vaccine is better than no vaccine at all. We are live this morning from Times Square. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.